part of what you talk about in your book, um, and is the idea of the entrainment to the um, Schumann residence, you know, as a, as a way of explaining the, how Reiki works and from a scientific viewpoint. And I would just like listening to that. And I would wonder if our heart rates do that with, you know, all of our animal companions, or, you know, you think about like when your dog comes and sit next to you or your cat purrs and sits on your lap or, um, and I would wonder if that entrainment would have a, I mean, this is just totally like, um, a, a random thought, but you talk about in your book with the entrainment with the Schumann resonance, I would wonder if that's in this, in, in alignment with that. Oh yeah, I, I think it's in alignment. So with the Schumann resonance, um, this is a model that was put forward by, um, Dr. James Oshman. And um, so we always wonder where is the Reiki coming from? And um, so his idea was that the earth has its electromagnetic field and somewhere at every instant, somewhere on the earth there's lightning. And when you have um, lightning, like an electric um, current going through an electromagnetic field, then that will produce um, some oscillation of electromagnetic energy. And it's known that lightning causes this oscillation, which is called the Schumann resonance. It's seven between seven and eight cycles per second in frequency, which is exactly actually which is exactly the same as alpha brainwave frequency. And so the model is that there's this energy, the Schumann energy, is in the atmosphere, and it can. Um, so your pineal gland in your in your head, your brain. Um, it's very sensitive to the environment, what's going on. So it's thought that um, the Schumann resonance, this, this oscillation of electromagnetism can stimulate the pineal gland. And that um, like sends a rush of electricity and starts up the alpha waves. It actually emphasizes or magnifies the alpha waves in the brain, putting you in a more meditative state. And the energy doesn't just stay in the brain. It's thought that it can travel um, around the outsides of the nerves, the perineural sheaths to the rest of the body and maybe through the bloodstream as well. And so then this is thought that perhaps um, this is what stimulates the Reiki, the Schumann resonance, um, starting up the alpha brain waves and then um, traveling through the body and then out through the hands. So it's thought that maybe it magnifies the energy and causes uh, and maybe explains Reiki, Reiki energy. So yeah, it, and this and it's very interesting how this external um, force or external electromagnetic oscillation, the Schumann resonance from lightning, um, it it um, attunes with your with your natural brain wave rhythm, the alpha state, and so it kind of entrains it and makes it bigger. And um, I think. Well, experiments have shown that when people get into what's called a coherent state, and I should talk about coherence actually. Coherent state is when you have a perfect balance between sympathetic and parasympathetic components of the nervous system. So sympathetic is the part of the nervous system that increases your heart rate, puts you in fight or flight, and parasympathetic is the part that relaxes you with rest and digest. And so when you're in this coherent state and you're breathing slightly deeper and slower than normal, as you breathe in, your sympathetic nerves are activated and your heart rate goes up. And as you breathe out, parasympathetic um, activated heart rate goes down. So it's like a wave, heart rate going up and down in time with your breathing. And that is called coherence, giving you that perfect balance. And I call it um, a relaxed alert state so you're relaxed, but you're also with it. Um, and that is a really good state to be in for, for living, for, for getting things done, um, that relaxed, alert state. And so that doesn't just stay in you. That signal goes from the heart through the nervous system to the brain. And, um, and in addition, it doesn't just stay in your in your body okay once that nervous once that signal the coherent signal gets to the brain it helps the brain function um, more effectively in that it helps you remember things access memories it helps you think more clearly 
So each part of the brain knows what each other part is doing because it helps the thalamus coordinate activities in the brain when this coherent signal goes up there. And it helps you with problem solving. So it really helps. So this coherent signal doesn't just stay in the heart, it goes to the brain, helps you function more effectively. And it doesn't even just stay with you because the coherent signal of the heart rhythm doesn't just stay here. It, the heart produces an electromagnetic field around the body and it can go up maybe 15 feet from you. Um, and because the heart is electric, every time the heart beats is an electric current. If you have a current, then it causes an electromagnetic field. So you have this field produced by your heart. And if you're in the coherent state where your heart rate is going up and down in time with your breathing, the field gets stronger and weaker in time with your build, in breathing. So it's oscillating, the field is oscillating. And science has shown that if one person is in that coherent state, then that then trains other people nearby and they become coherent as well. Um, and Reiki, doing Reiki, I've shown that when people do Reiki on top of that breathing to get coherence, the coherence signal is magnified, it gets bigger. Just like the Schumann resonance makes the alpha waves in the brain get bigger, then the Reiki makes the coherent wave in the heart get bigger. And so, when you're doing Reiki and the breathing at the same time, you have this big field like oscillating. And we've seen it with the horses. They can really pick up on that. I've got various, many, many videos of a person doing Reiki and doing the coherent breathing. And the horse, as soon as they notice, they can really sense it. It looks like they sense it in their ears because often you see the horses, and they'll be kind of just looking around and then suddenly their ears will start turning and they'll go straight over to the person when they become coherent. So it's a, like an attractive state. It means that you are um, calm and, and you're not going to do anything crazy and you can be trusted. So if you're doing Reiki and you're, you're breathing in this um, slow rhythm, that tells everybody it doesn't just stay in you, but it tells everybody. You're sending out a signal saying, hey, I'm a good person. I'm not going to hurt you. You can trust me.